It's stress time. Dargano is recovering stress in the penance hall because that's all they're, they're allowed to do. And we've got Lotus and Bogdanius over here in the tavern. That'll be a start for now. I've also put Vice in here because Vice... Let's see. Yep, three diseases at once. So let's try to get those fixed up, hopefully. So I'm getting a crew together. I'm planning on going in with this crew right here. I'm bringing in people that are already trained with the ho the goal being that they don't have to spend more money on maintaining this episode. Especially since I have to spend some of it on stress relieving those characters, so... After this we'll have a bit more and we can... After some more runs we can then train other characters with their skills and their equipment to be ready to take on tougher challenges. This should keep us busy for a little while. So we're gonna be starting off with inventory items. We have to go use them on relics. Hopefully we can find them reasonably quickly. So we can free our space for better means. Or so goes my wishful thinking, because that is already a full-ass inventory. Granted, we can drop those immediately if, if really needed. Preferably, I'd find a spot to use them. Well, not a lot of decisions going to be happening this time, huh? There's a room battle with a curio, a curio, curio battle. Uh, for the sake of keeping ourselves in one piece, I'm just going to move forward to ignore that whole direction. But yeah, let's try to find our quest items, of which there's already one over here. So that's an unlocked box, right? Barno crusted. I'm not actually sure if that's any different, to be honest. That might be that might count the same way as an unlocked one, but I'm not actually certain. Here we go. Trap disarmed and stress is right down to zero. Isn't that nice? So these people all had a terrible, terrible stress-filled run. But I got lucky, and uh, we had a run immediately afterwards. It was free to uh, go get healed up in the church, so that's what exactly what everyone did. Ooh, a map. Looks like I might go on for a while, too, based on where that map just went. Yeah. Wow. That's half of the remaining dungeon explored instantly. Okay. And not a single battle. Look at that. There's no battles. How weird is that? That never happens. What's the disarm chance of a Vestal? Not shockingly okay. I'll risk it. It'll be a bit of stress recovery. Wow. Yeah, shockingly empty dungeon. I might actually backtrack all the way to that, uh, to the location that I avoided earlier at the end, just because I'll be like, I want battle for inventory space, but. It could be that this whole area up there is just going to be super dense by comparison. We'll see how it goes. Alright, we'll be using up a shovel over here. Yeah, it's really... Another that's really odd. Another misfortune. I don't know if I've ever seen that big that big of a stretch that has no battles in it on the map. We're scouting again. Oh, treasure room. Well, there's the next battle. Found it. <laughs> there, it does exist. What are you? Eerie coral. Something odd about this coral. What if I holy water it? Fucking nothing. What if I medicinal herbs it? Profound healing qualities. That phobia quirk removed. Wow. So you use herbs on coral. Why would that do anything? Why would using herbs on a thing made of tiny organism corpses be good for you? I don't know. Try again? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little, it's a bunch of little tiny, like, calcitic organism skeletons making up a coral. Why would that, I don't know, I don't know why that would heal you. Magic video games fantasy. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Not a good precedent going straight for the, straight for that character like that. Um. Probably want to go off the, the, does that say Yui Savage instead of C, oh, it says Uka Savage. Usa Savage? Weird. Probably gonna want to take him out. Fast as we can. Just go full bleed on him, probably. Yeah. We want him down as fast as possible because of all those nasty attacks he has. Wow. 20 damage immediately on the Vestal before they get a chance to do anything else. Not a happy start for the fight, I gotta say. Let's see. Bleed it, bleed it out, bleed it out is tempting, but the, the negative, the stacking negative is pretty rough. I just want to try to avoid the, as many arterial, there it is. Want to avoid as many of those happening as possible, because that's a 
shockingly dangerous attack. Uh oh. That's not good. Seven damage per round's a good start though. Let's keep stacking those bleeds. Eleven damage per round. Wow. Very focused on my healer right now. Bleed. Oh, no. We've got to resist. Stop it. Oh, well, that got weird. Gonna keep myself healed for now, but uh, at, this r at this rate, they're gonna need it on the Jester. Oh, thank goodness he's targeting the Jester so far. That I've seen that attack do so much damage in the past. Nine crits, 11 per round. Things are looking good. And if he dies from the bleed, there won't even be a corpse left, which would be great. Why would you rearrange the party twice? That didn't even make sense. <laughs> Sometimes I think the Darkest Dungeon enemies just don't have an AI, basically. And they just do random actions. Because they just rearranged my party twice, which seemed like an, a shockingly odd decision. Nice! There we go. He died from the heavy bleed, so now these guys are right up in front. I took more damage than I should have because I was letting them live, but... It seemed kind of worth it because I've just seen the arterial punch. I've, I've seen the arterial punch single handedly take down the entirety of what somebody has, basically. And I wasn't looking forward to that. So I'm trying to avoid that situation happening. So I'll, I'll take a few hits and heal up afterwards. Because it's actually preferable to what would happen otherwise. Because basically, the attack itself can crit you for a really high value. But then, in addition to that, you can then take super heavy damage from the bleed, which is. I don't remember what it is, but I think if I remember correctly, it's like the highest bleed I've ever seen in the game, basically. Um, I mean, a speed boost would help me get the, my attack off before him. If it affects this turn, that is. Nope. I thought that might help me not take a hit. I was, mis I was misguided. Let's help with some heals. Nice. Oh, never mind. I figured that'd be my opportunity. All right. It may not be worth letting him keep going. Ah. Uh, should I just go for the hit? Not the best kill chance, is it? No. Nah. Go for the party heal. Keep that going for now. Hopefully they don't get demoralized, but honestly, it won't, it won't, I have a jester. Who cares? <laughs> if they feel like we're toying with them. I think the heal was rather necessary. There we go. We went first because of all the speed buffs. Use that key. We are already full up, really. Okay, fine. Ah, I'd already used the disposable stuff. The crests are rather mandatory at this point, I would say. Uh, I don't need all these p torches, though, honestly. I'll use one. Is lit. Drop them the for the crest. Hopefully we'll find more we quest items along the way. The strength to follow it. None of those were quest items, yeah. I could camp. That would give me new inventory space. I want to let... Let's go at least one more room further. Uh, I can run down my torch a little bit. And then uh, when I camp, it'll refresh my torch. Which will help make up for the fact that I just dropped the torches. That messed up my, my party composition quite a bit. I'm gonna go back one. It'll put me in range to use my gesture skills properly. It'll put Claire in the front row, but it won't push the Vestal forward. Because I don't want to push her closer to the front where she has limited use of her abilities. Hey, now. That's not nice. Let's stack some bleeds on these nasty guys that go down. Yeah, they're, they're, they have, they're high on prot, but they're pretty bleedable usually. And once you stack your bleed, you're in a better position. Uh, let's keep the, let's keep the heals going. Everyone everyone needs the heal right now, so it's ideal. I even crit on one of the people with lower health. That was, that was pretty lucky. Every now and then I get lucky, damn it. I feel a little entitled to it eventually. <laughs> so I can't bleed it out on the front guy, unfortunately. This guy's gonna die next turn though, so we don't, don't have to worry about him anymore. I meant to say if it bleeds. I could go after the back guy. Yeah. The gesture could target him next, making him go down possibly next turn. 
If the oh wait, the gesture still stunned though. While well, they're actually spamming the stun, that's rough. They're, oh, they're stacking bleed and bleed resist debuffs. That's rough. Okay, fine, Dick. Don't get to get much use out of him right now, but we'll make it count. Let's keep the heals going. It's a little rough that the uh, the enemy, when you stun them, gets a buff that makes them resistant against stuns, but you don't. Well, now the gesture can attack both of them at once. That'll be nice. But like so. I'll show you guys a bleed, damn it. <laughs> there he goes. From said bleed. Uh oh. Stop it. Again with the stuns, huh? Yeah, it's a little rough that we don't get any kind of resistance the way they do. But a darkest dungeon has never been about being fair entirely. Keep the health flowing. There we go. Now we're down to just the dumb little maggots. They really don't like my jester right now. Alright, fine. He's most of the way down. I'm gonna have two characters heal the jester this turn. Who doesn't even get to have turns. The good news is the bleed ran out. That's a start. There we go, he's feeling better already. Hey now, calm down. They're getting grabby. Let's go ahead and stress heal. Since I can't attack the front row right now, but it's fine. He's sort of a support role anyway, a lot of the time. Bandages! All my legs and my arms from you. Bandages, bandages, what are you? Brackish tide pool. Color slightly off. I'm gonna say no. Let's not play with that. Let's not play with any of the things. Is this a battle? Oh! Scouting again. Good dice rolls all around. No quest. Odd items in that direction, so I might have voted for now. Here's a quest, though. And I'm happy to find it. The next room is... a curio. Oh, quest location along the way. Cool. That'll free up some space in my inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and camp for the sake of inventory space, too. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. So we can give ourselves some bonus crit. Always nice. Let's always double check for the person that has... Yep, there's the nighttime ambush. Get that out of the way right off the bat. Uh, no need for our normal stress skills. We pump up somebody's accuracy and crit instead with the tiger's eye. Otherwise, not much else to go on. Let's give myself some crits. Let's give you accuracy and crit. And pick some low-level skill to use real quick. No need for wound care that much right now. It doesn't affect... Remove target Blight. Oh, right. Blight's the debuff, not the... Not the, not the uh, permanent effect. Let's give a pep talk to somebody. It'll reduce their, in their incoming stress for a while. That'll help us out. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. There we go. I'm prioritizing the quest items over everything else, and over test. other paths I could take, specifically because... Be here we go. I just don't want to deal... There we go. I don't want to deal with having running out of inventory space. So now that that's out of the way, we have, we're done with camping, we're done with quest items, now I can explore for as long as I want to. Picking up loot freely, and then leave as soon as our inventory fills up. Hi, guys! I see you double stress characters out there to be douchebags in the back row. Hi. Wow. Why do they like the Jester so much? Every time I go into a fight, it seems like everyone specifically is attacking the Jester all at once. It's getting weird. Is it because I do that? It might be because I do that, honestly. The math on that attack is insane. It's 16 it, It's sixteen damage from the first attack. Then it does... Yeah, 6 for 3. That's... It's 8, 16... 
9 times... That's, that's insane. 16 plus 18 is too much damage. <laughs> what, like 34 damage in one attack, basically? Granted, it's, it's split between two characters and it takes time to apply, but it's still... Heavy damage. Although, admittedly, the bleed damage doesn't quite count if I kill them before it happens, which I do a lot. Well, it's a good thing I already started bleeding them. That'll help make up for the fact that you're trying to defend them. Let's take out the other stress character quickly. Do an AoE... We'll do an AoE, uh... Ooh, Zealous will stop the guard, too. We'll do an AoE bleed on the two characters, and that'll hopefully... get through to him. Want to start bleeding the uh, defensive character, too. Because he can take a lot. But the bleed does the same damage regardless. Oh. Alright, time to get on healing, healing duty a little bit. Maybe not quite yet. Yeah, I'd prefer this guy doesn't get another action, honestly. Jester's not gonna go next to- Yeah, let's finish him off. Now it's just these guys, which I can sell his accusation to get rid of one of them, practically. So it's just about leading this guy out. Oh! Unexpected, especially with that bonus- oh, I don't have a bonus hit chance, do I? I gave the bonus hit chance to my Crusader. Got mixed up a little bit there. There we go. It's just you now, dude. You're all alone. How does it feel? I don't know. Let's go ahead and switch to support. There we go. We're recovering some of that stress that happened a moment ago. I'd, pr I'd prefer to enter the next... be able to go into the, my next round... my next uh, level uh, as a clean slate. Let's go full damage on this guy. The, un the not very often used bleed it out. Got some health recovery to do though, cause damn. They go down quick. Even the tough ones. There we go. Feeling better already. Let's make these next hits count. How are they feeling? 12 hit points? Let's fix that. <laughs> 11 per round, he's dead. Yep, there it goes. Fantastic. And more money. And some bandages I can't use yet, but I'll hold on to. Might happen. Ship's figurehead. A marvelous aura. Uh, let's try to get a buff. It inspires the hero. Excellent. Shit. Wait, did I get a buff from that? It's hard to tell. I think some of that's from my music I just played. That might have reduced my stress or something, but I'm at zero already, so who cares? Oh well. You try from time to time to make something count, you know? Hey, weird barrier. Get out of here. We're on our final leg of our journey. And our inventory is thankfully filling. No? Alright, we're going and we're moving forward blind. That means if there's a trap, we're gonna be in trouble. Hey guys. It's, it's an explodey guts guy. Oh. It ho hopefully won't run into any traps anytime soon, because if we do, they're just going to happen to us. You can't disarm them if you don't scout. It took me a really long time to ever understand that you have to scout to find traps. For, for some chunk of time, I even was convincing myself that I was somehow missing them. Okay, you need to go away. This is a problem. Big old gut monster atta attacking me in the face. 17 to 12. Wow, really good damage. 7 to 14. Alright, let's go for the guaranteed kill. There we go. That's one guy out of the way. For the love of all the totally fix this to fix this helling up. The damage is coming fast, but still, like I'm I'm thankful how much better things are going right now than they were going when I first went to level 5 runs and my party was just getting flattened. These level 5 skills and level 5 equipment makes all the difference. Obviously. Uh, let's finish him off. Nope, no bleed. That hurts my chances a little bit at, at the whole finish them off part. Might have to put the Crusader on heal duty. There we go. There's a nice number. Even once, even when we go max heals, two characters are still on full offense. Oh, he's healed up, isn't he? Well, fix that. Bye. Seaward slash. 
Damn, that's a lot of damage. That's no joke. Well, he won't be healing again. At least there's that. I'll try to recover from what just happened. Feels like a losing battle sometimes. Yep, I, I healed less than he did damage. That's rough. These guys are no joke now. There we go. Bye! It was not particularly nice knowing you. Success so clearly in view. I'll eat a couple food. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Get that gold in my supply. What you got here? Uh, there's that food again. Here you go. A sapphire. It's fantastic. Do I throw my torches away? I'll throw away my bandages. My healing's powerful enough that I don't think I have to worry too much about bandages. I hope. Fight, fight, fight. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. We are still... So, I'm trying to sort by things that I can drop still. I can drop the shovel and keys. And the torches and the food. Everything else is not... Is all loot items? Okay. So, I technically still have four more slots for loot. Depending of varying levels of desperation. I'd like to hold on to the food for a while because we haven't gotten hungry yet. Which is freaking me out a little bit. Because it's a medium run. Usually it's happened by now, but I don't think it has. Another pack. It contains a map. If only a useless, useless map. The flow of otherworldly corruption. Ah. Always happy to find more gold. Alright, we're down to our last torch, so obviously that'll be the first thing to lose. Fight? No fight. What a weird dungeon. It had an optional backtracking spot and an optional side path that both had fights along the way. But aside from that, it has been a weirdly empty dungeon with lots of empty hallways that lead to empty rooms. Which is a bit of a surprise. So I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack to this previous fight. Thankfully, when you're going through zones you've already explored, your, your torch goes down very slowly compared to the rate at which it goes down when you're going forward through zones that you're exploring for the first time. In almost like a weird... Dark Souls simulation of like how when you play a uh, Son in Dark Souls for the first time it takes you an eternity but then when you're playing it for your second and third playthrough you're like, eh, it's five minutes, I'm in and out it's no big deal which is a jarring and weird experience when you when you have it for the first time realizing that the scale of the game has changed so much, so now the torch is going at full speed, oh a torch is that another torch? that's another torch Catch over there laden with loot. why not? low on supplies it's crazy to have another torch just show up like that. Alright, well, here we go. Fight! Wow, human bandits. Ow. Okay. We might be done after this fight, because they're gonna do they're gonna lay on the damage. And we may not want to persist after it, but I'm sure we can take them down. Dude. This is a this is a full suicide party. Like, this is the type of party you pray the enemy doesn't throw at you in a game like this. Because, they, yeah, they don't have any tanks. Nothing's gonna keep them alive, sure. But they're gonna freaking destroy you in a couple turns if you don't go fast. So stack up those bleeds, man. Alright, that guy's dead already. That guy's not quite. Whoa, man! Vessel hasn't even had a turn yet. Look how many bleeds stacked already. Or how many, I mean, how much damage happened to the party as a whole. Gotta use the Divine Comfort, it's the most, uh, is the most turn-efficient heal whenever the full party has health to lose. Uh, let's single target the guy in the middle, because this guy's gonna die regardless. Yeah. And now that guy's gonna die. Alright, that's- so two people are dead now. And if they die- and if I let them die of the bleed, they won't leave corpses, meaning that we can zealous accusation the other two characters all at once. Target him in the back. There we go. Yeah, they go down fast, so it's not... They're usually not that hard to defeat overall, but look at that! Look how much... Holy shit! They just do so much damage every turn that I, there's, it's hard to do much about it. You just do what piddly attempts you have to maintain... Oh no. That's not what I was hoping for. That's not what I was hoping for. That's more or less what I was hoping for. All right. Well, now it's just one cutthroat at least, but damn, man. Like, he could easily put our Hellion on death, on a death blow range, uh, death door, I meant to say. Got lucky a little bit there. 
Keep it healthy. 16 heal per turn. Which sounds like a lot, but that's... They're doing like 50 damage per turn spread across my party. There we go. E money! It was worth it. Drop all of this nonsense. Money! Money! Um, drop the food next, I guess. Don't have room for the portraits either. Shovel. And we're, I'm just gonna get out of here. Oops. That was a weird moment. I accidentally backtracked slightly, so like, stop stepping on my feet! Well, we got a lot of gold out of that one. Especially since those gems showed up. Nice. We got almost 18,000 gold. Along with a big ol' stack of heirlooms. Not a bad run by any means. Our whole party is healthy, no one got a new disease. One person had a debuff removed. Here come the new debuffs usually though, yep. Yep. Ah, uh, Anway in the runs. 20% reduced dodge, that's a bummer. Alright, Claire. You're gonna have to eat healthier. <laughs> it's a problem. The frothing waters subside. The advantage is ours. Dargona is feeling weak with blood loss after a vigorous round of flagellation. So I assume that means she's not... Oh. It doesn't say they can't be used. Bogdanius is no longer selfish. After they were... Oh, right, because they were they were in crazy mode earlier. And yeah, once again, Vice got all three traits removed at once. Uh, let's go fix up Claire. Who has the runs. It's very embarrassing. Everyone point and laugh at Claire. What does weak with blood loss do? It's a, is that is it minus twenty percent damage based on their town modifier? Seems to be what's saying here. Okay, so weak with blood loss makes your damage weak because they're too they're too dangerous in that situation. Oh yeah, locked skill. <laughs> Once upon a time, I thought I had enough money to just lock skills every now and then. That'll become more regular. I'll hopefully lock a bunch of skills to help me when I go for the darkest dungeon. But we're still in the phase of using our money to upgrade our characters first. What's the event? Gentle Tide. Superstitious marinas rejoiced earlier today at news that unspeakable eldritch evils no longer threaten their cargo. 35% bonus experience on the next quest, 15% damage on the cove on the next quest. So it's encouraging you to go attack the cove next time, basically. Alright, see you next time.